Welcome back, people. So, for a lot of you that don't know, Queen of Kings and um, her boyfriend or her husband, excuse me, actually have broken up and uh, have separated. And it was due to basically a lot of differences. And they had an argument that got streamed online and it was live. So I'm going to play this video of uh, pretty much what happened and then um, I'll give you my take. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and uh, let's get right to it. I talk about it and you want to talk about everything so that we can get true thoughts and opinions or no? You don't? You don't want to talk about Vegas and the security? You don't want to talk about any of that? Because the Vegas and the security and all, you know, the many things of you. Um, because I think you're a bit confused based on, like, the image that I create. You, you don't want to talk. I'm just asking I, genuinely. I, I only came here for what you said I could take And I'm not doing anything for the kids. I'm doing something for myself or something. I don't know what you want. No, I, 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 I'm just talking about... This family because I love these kids. Where, where is you? Where, where, where is you think I enjoy any of this? Like, what, what are you trying to prove? I, I could have. Uh, sure, you could have. Okay. Uh, I so could have as well. What are you, you talking think I about? Pay film us if it was online all the time and make us. Oh, but you just got upset because I said I didn't want to do YouTube anymore yesterday. That was your whole yelling and stuff while I was sitting here. So my only question was, would you like to just air everything, the the complete truth? I don't, I don't, I don't and do you know what a lot of it is? Online. Let me know, because just let's be real. Let's be very honest and very real. Because so we can, like, that's my only thing. I don't like having public arguments. So oh, I'm, interesting. Because remember, you were the one that said, was I holding a phone go, go live yesterday. Remember that. You were the one that yeah, said that. Comment, like, Why don't you put this on the Yeah, and then I did. And then you got even more angry. You snatched my phone and and all, all that. I'm going live because remember you started saying like oh i think the comments are starting is based on the image <laughs> you're confused about that you're really really confused no you're really confused you're really 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 confused and i don't want to speak on like the realness of it i really don't i'm trying really hard not to really really hard like biting my tongue not to but like we can literally do that if you want I, I i don't i've never had to make myself look good remember that that was the whole point of it that i was not making myself look good so you're over there like it's not making yourself look good that's the whole that's the whole point i never tried to make myself look good it was about making you look good do you remember that did you forget did you forget I don't need power. Just the, I guess the truth is power. Yeah. The truth is always power. The truth is always power. Yes. But we don't have the reputation defamation. We just, I'm just asking you, I'm not speaking. I'm not speaking on what happened when you were doing security in Vegas. I'm not speaking on it. I'm asking you, do you want to speak on it? Because I think you're a bit confused with everything. I think you're really, really confused on like a, the way that all of this works. Your standard way of interpreting what I did or whatever I'm trying to be hurtful doesn't mean that. Wait, about what you did with the man? Yeah. No, I'm just asking. Wh what are you talking about? My slander way of interpreting what? Because remember what you even admitted that you did? Should, like, I'm confused. just so you know guys he's over there giving me the serious 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 eye so i'm gonna get off of here but just in case anything happens then you already know because 
the way that he's over there looking and when i got off the phone yesterday he started snatching my phone and being really aggressive i had to open the door and stand in front of the camera because um he gets a little bit crazy i know so that's why i had to stand in front of the camera in the hallway yesterday because and let you know that it was a camera watching yeah I'm not scared of the camera or the police because I'm going to get you. It's very obvious. Yeah. So stop pretending that it's going to fucking happen. Yeah. I know that's a young goal of like the gone girl type of girl. Just mm -hmm. relax. Mm -hmm. The stuff in Vegas. I mean, just uh, all the many, 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 many things. But I'm like going to bite my tongue and not say it because for your image because you forgot i've always glorified you literally glorified you painted you in the most beautiful light possible but me actually i literally minuscule minimized my own character and so that's the clip ladies and gentlemen and as you can hear the couple are having problems straight up right and it's gotten to a place where it's risen to the top you know, a lot of things are easy to hide from online when you don't post it, right? And you uh, maintain appearances, right? But this is the situation. So they came out with a video where they moved, where they visited Hawaii. And then um, apparently she, desi she decided to move to Hawaii and then he went back to uh the states to get the rest of their stuff airbnb the crib they had or they have and then um he was moving back to hawaii with them right he had a job uh i believe he was making over a hundred thousand a year and he quit his job and he left to go to hawaii right that's all well and good right but then since being in hawaii she basically decides to take some time right to separate for a while right and i'm not gonna play that video i watched the video and you know a few things stood out to me definitely you know I think his name is uh, Brett, but um, his whole demeanor was really like low. He seemed really um, quite disorientated in a way, and I pretty much say quite submissive in a way, right? And I'm not ragging on him. I understand he, to me, in that situation, he's trying to maintain what relationship he has left with his family you know um i believe he's got two children with her and then she got one with her uh previous baby daddy uh who was a black a black dude and um so they they have a family right and they're married and um he just looks quite distressed you know they're talking about how she uh is having it hard looking after the kids and he's always away at work and yada 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 so for a lot of reasons that she declared she wants that separation that time apart so now you have this live stream that comes out and the couple you know are like passively aggressively arguing right and she's airing out his dirty laundry you know she's um being so-called truthful about their history and another live stream came out where she basically crapped on him saying that she paid for everything and that she bought her own car lamborghini or something like that and basically said he's not a 
six figure man and trying to make it out like he's you know quite poor or or you know just a part in a way right but then since that video she's come out with a video denouncing everything she said and basically denouncing and saying that everything she said was cap right but to me that's cap because when I watched the video of them and it says we separated <laughs> the things that stood out to me is like how she basically wants to go her own way right she didn't really say that um but her body language you know and I like to pride myself on body language because as a man you got to be able to read the room and you got to be able to pick up body language with the opposite sex in so many ways to protect yourself you know and know what you're doing right in general so when I read the body language you know it it, it kind of reads to me that she really wants to do her own thing she she wanted to be in hawaii and she managed to move to hawaii which uh brett's parents weren't too happy about right and she basically relocated where she she wanted to be brett didn't really say that he wanted to be there or stuff like that and this is the thing right women end relationships at a way higher rate than men do so you have to understand men are put in a position where they will do what it takes to keep a family together where a woman not so necessarily right now i i rate the fact that he um is committed to that degree don't think it's smart but not something i would typically do but um maybe i would if i if i had that kind of money right i don't know but basically what i'm trying to get to is the fact that i feel like she has her own agenda because she recently reached a million subs on her youtube account and she's talking about these incomes that they have procured over the years and she's really painting this image that you know i'm straight <laughs> i'm good right and you know he says to her like oh you know i'm gonna give you this time i'm gonna go back to the states and i doubt that a week will go by where you won't need me where you won't want me to come back and us to continue what we're doing and if you look at her she's like looking off you know thinking i don't need you right <laughs> she pretty much she actually said that to him she's like you know what makes you think that i need you or i need you to be here with me when you met me i was without you and i did just fine then right so she's letting him know that I'm not gonna run back to you now to me then she she actually mentioned divorce she didn't say they were gonna get divorced but she was like you know I'm not saying we're gonna get divorced but I need this separation see you know if you listen to people right people they actually tell on themselves you can't be what you are not so what really comes out is what you are for for those biblical people the bible says out of the mouth comes an abundance of the heart so that means that whatever is in your heart you will speak it right and and you know i'm not i'm not christian or anything like that but you know your boy do read the bible right and it does say in the bible as well those who have ears let them hear those who have eyes let them see 
so to me what that means is like there there are things that you can hear that exist or there are things that you can see that exist or if you don't have eyes and ears you won't pick up on those things because you can't see and you can't hear to that level it's like a dog dogs have like some of the greatest ears in the planet a lot of people don't know that dogs can hear frequencies of sound that aren't even able to be picked up by human ears there are sounds that are silent that a dog can pick up this is why dogs have a great sense for looking for things. Also their nose. Cats are the same. I think cats, their hearing is something spectacular as well. So what I'm saying is that I feel like she revealed her agenda. If you have ears, then you'll hear that, right? Now, what I want to talk about with this video is like, because obviously she's pretty much a divester, man. She, you know, and she had kids with this uh, black guy and she ragged him, man. She, she talked about how this guy ain't this, he ain't that. And then she just basically groups all black men into the same basket. And when you watch their videos, I really don't really watch them, but... If you take a look, it's like she's glorifying being with the Caucasian man, right? And enters a level of like feminine submission that she would never really enter with a black man, you know? And you see their life become successful to, to the degree of what you see and pulls off an image that being with a Caucasian man is superior, right? And that you can obtain success by being with a Caucasian man. But this is what a lot of these black females do, right? They, they really don't do anything feminine within their own community because they don't respect themselves. They don't love themselves. So they don't respect or love the black man. They, they see black men as less than, you know, um, inferior, right? Not, not all, right? Not all black women or females. To be honest, black women, I don't really put in that, that category, but black females they see the black man as inferior in many ways financially and in intellectually you know iq you know experience you know work ethic ethics across the board and what happens is because society pretty much paints that picture and then they they paint a shitty picture of men in general which just those black men way under at the bottom and then they take that out on the community so they look at the zaddy as white savior and they make it seem like the problem is not them or they're not even a part of the problem right they black sheep the black man and the black community shitting on his authority to make him seem insignificant and incomparable and then paints the opposite for any other man this is what they do they move out of the community and they will date any kind of man and then paint them as superior you see it all the time Shout out to the angry man. He done a great video about this. And you see black females will go and be with a white hobosexual. Right? A homeless, brokey 
because he's Caucasian and let him live with her and impregnate her and you know uh, put on an image of submission or, or even submit and be feminine or, or put on like they like to say turn it on <laughs> their femininity so it's it's intentional so when you have black females that aren't found this way in the black community that is also intentional the problem is you need to know is why you can't change someone's behavior all you can do is try to understand it change your own behavior that's all you can really do you can't change nobody you can change yourself though right and this is the thing so she now and a lot of these females they will get with white men that has just got out of prison there was a video just the other day that went viral of some black chick who picked up her zaddy from prison man bought him a cell phone moved him into the crib had a baby with him but let them tell it the black man is the problem because there are countless good black men out here that are even great but don't have a counterpart who's gonna be his helper do you understand be his help me so what happens is the black man finds himself building alone which is cool because as a man we're supposed to be able to deal with everything right and that's that's well and good but it doesn't mean you're going to thrive doesn't mean your community is going to thrive and when we look at all other races you see that their counterparts the females the women they play their role they make sure the home is in order they make sure the children are in order so that the man can go out and he can hunt he can sharpen his tools to become the type of man he's destined to be i mean how do you think that we got here when you really think about it who owns majority of the wealth of society the same people that stole manual labor you think that the men just did that on their own no they had submissive feminine wives and they were in the business of some of the most treacherous crimes known to mankind but guess what their women were right there to raise those children feed those children micromanage the upbringing of those children while zaddy went out and perpetrated crimes on every race man now it's not about race it's it's not about hatred right it's about knowledge wisdom and understanding because you can't identify anything in life without those values without those characteristics or probably what i should better say is that ability those abilities so now you have swirlers you have divesters and they go and get with other people other races and queen of kings is no different a lot of these black females will tell you you know i ain't taking a, a broke man i ain't taking a man who who uh is a criminal i ain't you know dealing with a man who's under six feet tall but when it comes to zaddy they'll deal with anything and the way you know the way i see that behavior is you have to have a real 
self-hatred for yourself. Anyone that will reproduce something that they are not even themselves, that is self-hatred. When you think about it, everything we do in this life, we do because we like to see ourselves in it. We buy an expensive house because we like to see ourselves in that. We buy expensive cars because we see a reflection of who we are in that. The way we dress. For most of us, the way we behave. We like to see ourselves in it. So how would you have children and not want the same thing? That's a self-hatred issue. So I think that a lot of these divestors they grow up hating themselves hating their community the disposition that we are in they hate it and they're lazy they're not willing to put in the work they're not willing to be committed they, they're not willing to follow laws depending whose law <laughs> right but this is the thing and we got a lot of these people in the community. So now she, she's got her bag up and she wants to do her own thing. She's painting him to be a bad guy. In that video, she said, oh yeah, you know, just in case y'all don't hear from me or something like that, just know, you know, I'm here with Brett. <laughs> he had a bad attitude and he getting a bit rough. And, you know, these females, they paint everything to be the problem but them. They play the victim role so well. So well. They manipulate everything to get what they want out of life. You know, she would never have gotten to the position that she's in if she didn't submit, be feminine, and commit to a purpose. She could have done that with her baby father, the first one. But she didn't want that. She wanted it easy. Because let me be real with y'all. Being black is not easy. And maybe it's not easy for everyone. But let's be real. There's levels to this shit, man. It's harder for some people than it is for other people. And if you don't understand that, maybe because you're part of the privileged that don't even realize you're privileged. Because privileged people don't see privilege. And that's all well and good. But my people need to understand privilege isn't a blessing. Privilege is something you earn. Yeah, a lot of people might not agree with that. I might not even be able to comprehend that. Privilege is something you earn from the stripes of your behavior, the morals that you hold, the characteristics that you display, the integrity that you have. Not just with other people, but with yourself. You can have everything with yourself because that's where it starts with yourself are you truthful to yourself that means if you're truthful with yourself more than likely you will be truthful with your peers and everybody around you do you work hard on yourself because if you do that means you will work hard for those around you and the ones that you love community i.e children family and this is a lot of stuff that these black females don't have. And this is what I say is self-hatred. I don't respect that behavior. You know, Brett, you know, to me, even he's got self-hatred. Because when you a part of his community, that you will pick up something like this. 
and then go pre procreate and have children. There's something wrong with you too. You know, he created a family with her. And from my understanding, from what I'm seeing online, he met her at a strip club, man. She was a stripper. So he's seen her do all manner of things in the name of money. And that's what these fells, these divestors are all about. They're not with you for who you are because they love you because you're the greatest thing since sliced cheese they love your presence no 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 it is all for status he may as well be her pimp you know in the strip club to make a lot of money you don't make that type of money jumping up and down the pole Watch the Players Club if y'all don't believe me. You make that type of money by doing extra on the side. Hitting some parties, private events, VIP room. What you think goes down in the VIP room? Now, I, I don't really know because your boy don't do strip clubs, man. Never have, never will. It's unnecessary to me. But yeah, I have been to a couple in my in my youth. When I was a teenager, I see what goes down. So this is the thing. It's a money grab. Now, to me, what's coming next? She gonna divorce him. She gonna divorce him and she gonna get half of everything and her own come up in her own name she even started another channel uh single life or something like that if i find it i'll add it in but yeah she's she's preparing to go her own way man she just what we call that back home in florida we call that hitting the lick she just came up man that's what happened she hit a lick man she came up she put in that work she had them kids she even cut her hair off because she don't care about Brett's opinion. She don't want to even be attractive to him anymore because she don't she don't see that she have to serve him anymore. And that's type that's the thing with these types. They hate themselves so much. They're defined by their own selfishness. It's like Judas, man. They'll sell everything to get a few shekels of silver. They don't care. They don't value nothing about life. They don't value life, man. They don't value nothing from the inside. And, you know, people and black people in general need to understand that these types exist. It's like a scene I was watching out of Batman. Shout out Dark Knight. I love Batman. But... Batman was baffled. Bruce Wayne asked Alfred. He was trying to understand the character of Joker. And he couldn't comprehend it. He couldn't wrap his head around it. He, he asked Alfred. He said, you know, I don't understand his motive. What, what is this guy about, man? He's fucking crazy. He's a fucking menace. And Alfred said to him, Some people just want to see the world burn. Man, when he said that, that was one of the greatest things I ever heard. Because when you can comprehend, some people don't care about nothing, nobody, or anything to do with any inner value they don't care they'll sell you out sell themselves out sell their children out whore their children out they don't give a fuck 
excuse my language, but it's real out here. And if you get with somebody like that, you will become a casualty. There's never going to be no end game for the both of y'all, ever. I wouldn't be surprised if this man, you know, he even said in that video, we separated. He said, you know, if we do get divorced and you leave me and blah, 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 I'm going to just go live in a forest somewhere and ne never be in the public ever again. Man, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if a man like him deleted himself. Because that's what those types do. Because they never had the type of character themselves, the self-love, to go and reproduce with someone like themselves. And they have all these dark, devious lusts and fetishes. So they go and get with someone like her. And then when that person shits on them in the greatest way, they can't cope, man. So what they do is they disappear. Like Houdini. Never come back. Now I feel sorry for him. I do. I I, I think that it's fucked up. But you're a casualty, homie. That's what you is. Just like her first baby father. Just like so many black men in the community. End up casualties. Behind this type of behavior. So yeah. You know. That's all I really got for this video. Maybe I'll do an update. I don't know. But um. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Is Brett wrong? Is he right? Is she wrong? Is she right? What do you think? Do y'all think that she gonna end up divorcing him? Or not? Can y'all see them getting back together? Or not? Let me know. Whatever your opinion is appreciated. It doesn't matter. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.